I'm going to show you my projection for the next I-bond inflation rate, which can help you decide if you should buy more I-bonds, hold on to your I-bonds, or just cash them out. Now, I've been tracking the I-bond rate for years, and now that we're halfway through that six-month inflation data, we can see which way rates are trending and what that means for you. You probably didn't pay much attention to I-bonds until the 7% rate in late 2021 or the 9.6% rate in 2022. But now that interest rates are dropping, it's important to learn how I-bond inflation rates are set and how they compare to other interest rates. I'm Mr. Retirement, and I want you to get more interest, pay less in taxes, and avoid making big retirement mistakes. Subscribe to my channel, Mr. Retirement, right now so you can stay up to date with I-bonds, interest rate trends, and all things retirement. Now, I-bond inflation rates are announced every May and November, and because they're based on six months of inflation data, the CPIU, you can track that and project it which way the rates are heading. The next I-bond inflation rate will be based on a starting point of September CPI at 307.789. Now, the latest reading halfway through from December is 306.746. That actually suggests that inflation could be negative. So if CPI doesn't change at all for the next three months, then inflation would be a negative 0.7%. But don't worry about it because your total I-bond rates can't go below zero. You can't lose money on your I-bonds. Then again, you probably didn't get into I-bonds for 0%. And since we're only halfway through, we only have three months worth of data, you're probably wondering what's going to happen next. We don't know for sure, but over the last 10 years, inflation was negative or basically zero nine times out of 10 from September to December. So this is somewhat normal. Now, 10 out of 10 times, inflation was actually positive in the first three months of the year. So when I took the uh, last three months of the year and added them to the first three months of the year and projected out how things are looking, when you project out that March CPI number, uh, that might get you a number of 311.10. So that suggests a May inflation rate for your I-bonds of 2.2%. Now, whether the next inflation rate comes in as negative or perhaps around that 2%, this just highlights the importance of the fixed rate part of your I-bonds. If you bought your I-bonds in 2021 or 2022, then your fixed rate is 0% or very close to it. Now, to get the most out of your I-bonds, watch this next video where I show you how to swap your old 0% I-bonds for the new 1.3% fixed rate I-bonds. I'll see you there.